All right, I'm Tom G. Moyes. This is Watch, Listen, Consume. All the crack in rollerblading this week. Hayden Ball and Dusty Denim have released some Dusty Denim t-shirts, 100% cotton, made in the USA, screen printed in his own gaff with his own hands. Mad. He's getting well involved in the creation of these. I mean, there's paint going everywhere. It's all over his girlfriend. His dog's covered in it. And he's just a screen printing away for you. Putting love into the t-shirts. Make sure you go and check those out. So the corduroy train keeps on steaming through. Them skates are up on it as well. They've got a corduroy hat. So that's them. Learn the economy. Parallel Collective have the corduroy bucket hats. A muzzle have had corduroy hats for ages. It's a thing. People love the cords. People love the wind whistling through the channels as they're skating. So it turns out them skates and Clarks aren't gonna do a Clarks wallaby. Well, not yet, at least. But, you know, maybe in the future. At the moment, what's actually happening is Julio has got a license, some sort of agreement to sell Clarks in the store. That's sick, man. And everybody's been straight onto it. All the team are grabbing up the desert boots, the wallabies. Hey, that's, a, that's a sick look for the team, right? If you're looking for a pair of Clarks, head on over to Julio. Honestly, try kicking a football with one. Pff, mate, the results, unreal. So the Jurassics are out, and like I thought, they're an X35 model. What I had no idea about is uh, Ilya getting a pro model. <laughs> The Russian entertainer has bagged himself his first pro skate. I think most people would have assumed it was going to be an aggressive skate. I reckon Rosie's probably haven't even told Ilya that it's not an aggressive skate. They've just gone, there's your first pro model, mate. What do you think? He's going, oh yeah, mate, this looks sound. I love the big wheels. Let's crack on. And he's gone out there and skated them like they're an aggressive skate because he knows no difference. There's no boundaries to his skating. And maybe people are still thinking, hmm, Still a bit of an odd move. Uh, I'm not so sure it is, because big wheel, urban skating, that's the one that's really moving at the moment. That's the one that has like more participants. So it kind of makes more sense. And probably for Iliar as well, like, if he becomes known in those kind of circles, well, his audience is just gonna absolutely explode. I think he's on that trajectory to blow up, but here's another helping hand. Fair play to the bloke. I might even get him. Future Blade Co. have dropped a ruck of stuff. It's winter in Australia, so they've got hoodies, long sleeve tees, beanies, corduroy hats. Another company selling corduroy hats. It's the thing in rollerblading at the moment. For sure, man. Head on over to their website, grab what your dirty mitts can get your hands on. And also, Catherine Reyes has been the latest announcement on their team. Edit coming soon. So Capital Rollers are stepping into the future and printing off grind wheels. Pearly Higgs is what they're calling them, 3D printed, 20 quid. And that 20 quid goes to like the cost of the materials, actually printing it, and then supporting Capital Rollers events. That's a pretty fair deal there. So if you need a pair of grind wheels, they're your boys. Printing blade equipment. Mad. I need to get onto printing wheels, man. Like, I turn wheels into hummus in like pff, a week. Duran Bickmore and the New Everything Company have released some swim shorts, some nice jazzy numbers. I think Muzzle did swim shorts a while ago as well. Actually, they might still be available. Sound idea. I think it's more aimed towards the skimboard side of things, but hey, why not for rollerblading? You're out there getting hot and sweaty. Mate, skates off. Swim shorts are already on. Down to your nearest watering hole. Friggin' double tuck, pike. The judges are like 10, 10, 10. Extra 0.5 for the jazzy shorts. Jobs are good in. Also, wouldn't it be good to have like pro model beach towels? Julio on a beach towel. Why not? Your favorite pro on a beach towel. <laughs> I'm into it. I think there's a market, man. Uh, might be a little bit weird, but you know. If it brings a rollerblading industry more coin, I'm all for it. Also, this reminds me, the diving board at my local leisure centre was like to the ceiling. Hey, as a kid, that was the scariest thing to jump off in the world. And he's like, 
oh, there's no way. Johnny's going to friggin' actually do a dive off it. No, he's going to die. He'll die from shock before he even hits the water. Impossible. He did it. He didn't die. One Blade Mag have been doing it for 15 years. Well, almost. It'll be 15 years in July. As a countdown to this, they've been posting up a retro photo campaign of all like key pivotal moments, really sick pictures. Head on over to their Instagram to get an eyeful of that. They'll also be sharing their plans for the future. Good to see them sticking with it. Southport Skate Park are having their first jam on August the 14th. If you're in the UK, or if you can just get there from wherever you are, get there. It looks like it's gonna be an absolute hoot. There's already a ruck of sponsors, so I'm sure it's gonna absolutely kick off. Alchemy Skate Shop here in the UK have also put their penny in for the trouser game. They're in the race, they're doing trousers. Keep an eye out for July the 1st, because that's when they're coming out. This week, we heard the sad news of the tragic passing of Julian Isaac. Now to help out his brother William Isaac and the family in this time of need, Jan Welch is raffling off artwork. Artwork from his personal collection by Eric Burke and Chris Peel. Raffle tickets will cost $10. All the money, 100%, is gonna go to Julian's family. I'll put a link in the description to Jan's Instagram page and his website so you can get all the details there. Do what you can to help out. Michael Decker has released Brink Daddy. This is awesome, man. It's an absolute vibe. It's a really nice feeling to it. Some great tunes on there. A ruck of really good skaters. Just seems like a good old time. Loads of creative skating, all sorts of appearances. Victor Galicia, Air Dolphin, Sean Dast, Bellino, Asohi. Uh, Decker, obviously, Spencer Eckel, Josh Jetta, go and check that out. It's wicked, man. Really enjoyed it. So Ilya got his first pro big wheel skate, and I don't think anybody told him that we were big wheels and not an aggressive skate. He's not bothered to look down. He's just gone, oh, cheers, Rosie. He's a nice one. He's put them on, and he's just gone out and done what he normally does. <laughs> I don't think he even knows that it's just three wheels. Maybe it's just like, oh, these are a little bit faster. That's odd. Right, anyway, what was I about to do? Yeah, an X-grind, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, zero spin, alley-oop, top acid, yeah, not a problem. Front slides, easy peasy, all in a day's work. And he's gone home and gone, oh yeah, thanks, Racy. And then looked down and gone, oh, bloody hell. There's three big wheels on this. Pfft, was unaware of that. Oh, well. This is unlike any big wheel edit you've ever seen. Awesome. People are kind of running out of excuses for not being able to do grinds or moaning about wheel bite, aren't they? <laughs> it has like, oh, I, I don't know that word. Don't understand it, mate. Fair few wacky things go down in Russia. Wheel bite isn't one of them. Doesn't happen. You could give him a skate boot, no wheels. He'd still go out skating. You could give him a unicycle and he'd do a front slide. Happy birthday. Joey Lunger. Big Rooster, Bishop of the Bong, Joey Lunger. He's also gone and dropped an edit, Green Puff War. Mate, exceptional skating. Some real creative stuff. And I highly, highly rate his ability to look comfortable in airs. Just to control it, like his feet. It's a control of his airs. And like the landings are always like, boff, feet together. Man, flipping top right. Make sure you check that out. Spooky Blader posted up fifth. This is featuring Jeremiah Doherty and Ryan Daly. Really cool edit, man. I really like what Spooky does. That warmth, that texture, that kind of, I guess, spooky-ish kind of feeling he brings to all the edits. Really enjoyable, man. Make sure you check that out. Keep an eye out for more of his stuff as well. Nobody does hammers anymore. What are you actually talking about nobody not a single person hmm where are the hammers <laughs> they're on youtube for free carlos bernal pro model primo one nil cheer up <laughs> do you actually even try to look for them how active are you in rollerblading 
Like, I mean, I'm not saying you have to rollerblade to watch rollerblading, but if you're not really actively doing it, how much are you actively looking and consuming all the content out there? Just try, just a little bit. The link is in the description. Doing the work for you. Now this is just an ad. This is just a commercial for Blank by Rollerblade, but Cameron Talbot goes off, man. So good. Make sure you go and check this out. Absolutely quality. Government cheese and in line with four dub posted up JBB spring 2021. Mate, sick edit. He's gone and got himself that Gnarfield tea and just got to work. Nice creative moves. Lovely stuff. Sasha Miguel Lopez has posted up VIVI. Maybe that's actually meant to be Roman numerals and I've said that completely wrong. Either way, get on over to his YouTube and watch this. Man, it's so good. If you're aware of his skating, you know that he's super stylish. He's also really creative, adds a little bit of extra to his tricks, can always find like an interesting spot or put a new twist on something. He'd also bang out a couple of grinds on a kink rail as well. Solid mix, really enjoyable. Make sure you check that out. Jay Harvey's posted up a seven minute edit from all the skating that went down in May at Bay 66, featuring a ruck of people, including James Kite. Now, if you're having trouble actually finding a link, it's just because it was like written in one of the descriptions and you can't click it or anything like that. And there's no link in bio. So, if you want a bit of an easy life, the link's in my description. Them skates have got up another little trouser ad. Kalu's, Sean Dast, magic. Chris Doherty was up on Bankcast this week. And I remember this picture of him that blew my mind. I think it must, it must be in the Unity issue that he was on the front cover of, which was in April, March, 1999. And the trick is him, oh, I can't exactly remember. I can see the picture, but I can't remember how he got into it. So it's either an alley-oop topside negative mistral, mistral, or it's true spin. Oh, either way, just like the position he's in on it and the picture is so good. And in 1999, this just blew my mind. I was like, what? How is that even possible? And then from that was it. From there out, I was just like, he is like the best. Like, who else is doing this? Nobody. I've not seen anybody do anything like this. He is quite clearly the best. And he seems like a really nice dude as well. There's loads of interesting stories, particularly funny one about the Jado meeting and how that was, you know, a little bit pretentious. He also runs Decipher. If you don't know about that, his Instagram page and man, he's just putting up all the archive footage. I've talked about it before as well, about James Kite. Man, there is some insane footage getting shared. He talks about his trips to London, ships down to Bristol, skate career, tries to convince Leon that you know, cliff jumping is the absolute business at the moment. Maybe we'll see Leon do a bit of that soon. Get on over to Bankcast and watch this interview. It's brilliant. Bankcast definitely don't get the views I think they deserve. So, you know, go over there and watch everything. Watch it a few times. Just leave it playing. If you're not going to watch it, just get them numbers up. But there is loads of interesting stuff if you do actually want to pay attention as well. And that's all the cracking blade in this week. If there was a single thing you liked, give us a like. If you want to hear more of me chatting breeze, subscribe. Do me a favour. I've also actually got a Patreon over on the Blade of Union site. I'll leave the link in here. So if you want to support my other show, Deals on Wheels, chuck me a bit of coin, feel free to do it. I would really appreciate it. Spotty dog.